Hi, and welcome. This is week three of our Hen Sing. My name is Jude Allen, and I'm the Director of Worship Ministries here at Isle of Faith United Methodist Church. I hope that you have enjoyed the past few weeks of hymns, and maybe this is your first time with us. Um, we just spend this time singing um, some gospel-rich hymns that are requested by you. So whether you're a member of the church or not, feel free to email me at jude at iofumc.org and send in your request, and I will get to those as soon as I can. So today we have a theme with our hymns, and the theme is the blood of Jesus. And so what I wanted to remind us of is the power and the importance of the blood of Jesus. So the best place to do that is through scripture. There is redemption in the blood of Jesus. His blood redeems us. There was a price against us that we could not pay, but the blood of Jesus redeemed us. 1 Peter 1, 18 through 19 says, For you know that it was not with perishable things such as silver or gold that you were redeemed from the empty way of life handed down to you from your forefathers, but with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or without defect. There's fellowship in the blood of Jesus. His blood brings us into fellowship with God. Ephesians 2.13 says, But now in Christ Jesus, you who were once were far away have been brought near through the blood of Christ. There's peace in the blood of Jesus. His blood makes peace with God because man by nature is at war with God and we can only come to God on his peace terms. The blood atonement. In Colossians 1.20 it says, And having made peace through the blood of his cross, by him to reconcile all things unto himself. The blood also cleanses. It cleanses us and it removes the punishment of sin. It removes the pollution. I don't care what sin you have ever committed. The blood of Christ Jesus and his son cleanses us from sin. 1 John 1, 7. And then there's power in the blood of Jesus. And Revelations 12, 11 says, We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. So these songs that we're singing this morning are our testimonies of how God has redeemed us and is continuing to redeem us until we look like him. Let's sing together. For the cleansing power Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you fully trusting in His grace? This hour are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood? In the soul-cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless or they Oh, 
Father, we just thank you for your blood. Father, we thank you for what that means for our lives, that it is by the blood of Jesus that we have been redeemed, that we have been reconciled to you. It is by the blood of Jesus that you have paid for every single one of our sins. It allows us to come boldly to the throne of grace. And you are there with arms wide open for us. Thank you for your blood, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I hope you enjoyed this medley with the blood today and um, so thankful for the blood of Jesus and a special thank you to uh, Dave and Joy who were a part of um, the inspiration for this series today. So thank you. Keep sending in your request to Jude at IOFUMC.org and can't wait to be with you again next week. God bless you and keep you, make his face to shine upon you and give you peace. Amen.